Hey everyone, Kyle Mike here from MLive.com. Joined by Justin Rogers. Lions are 0 2 after a pretty bad start to the season, Justin. Only 24 teams out of 205 that have started 0 2 since 1990 have made the playoffs. It's happened, I believe, six times since 2007. Um, can the Lions do it? Well, what is that? That's about 12%. Uh, it's not yeah. a terrible ratio. Uh, there's some really good teams that are 0-2 right now, or, or teams we expected to be pretty good in, in yeah. Philadelphia, um, Seattle, Baltimore. Uh, if I look at that group and you tell me which one has the best shot of making the playoffs, the Lions are probably last. Mm-hmm. I, I just I can't see it. You know, we talked about this this schedule being difficult before the season started. Um some games end up being not as tough as you thought they'd be, and, and some end up being, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, tougher. It still looks like a really tough schedule, and the next three are, are brutal. And I, th- I think it's more likely the Lions go zero and five than win yeah. two of those games at this point. Um, it's it's looking like it's going to snowball really quickly. Yeah, will it happen? I I uh, I don't think so. But can it happen? I mean, I'll, I'll take the other side of the coin. I'll say it, it, it can happen because. Um, the Lions still have a lot of talent. They're still playing without their best linebacker, who I think when DeAndre Levy comes back, and it seems like it'll be uh, within a couple of weeks or so, based on what he had talked about after the Vikings game, um, the defense theoretically will improve. Um, and as you said, Justin, we knew coming into the year that the schedule was going to be difficult, and that was particularly true in the first few weeks of the yeah. season. My preseason predictions, I, I had them starting 1-3, and three, maybe 1-4. Yep. and four. I can't recall exactly, but this is a tough stretch to begin the season. But then the middle of the schedule sets up some opportunities for this team. It'll be on them to take advantage of them, obviously. But during one eight-game stretch, the Lions have one true road game. That's pretty good. It sets up. There's, there's two stretches of three straight home games, plus the they get the Chiefs in London as opposed to Arrowhead. That's a huge break as well. So get healthy, maybe find some groove on, on offense. It's possible. Um, but where I have uh, some skepticism is how they've lost these games. I might have expected the Lions to lose and to start 1-3 and and all this stuff, but how they've done it has been uh, uh, discouraging for me, and I I don't think I can put enough stock in this team to say they can make the playoffs based on the breakdowns on offense, the breakdowns on defense, all all across the board. They they just don't seem to have any answers at at this point. Obviously, they have a broken quarterback at this point, too, which is a huge issue going into two primetime games. Yeah, we thought the defense would take a step back, but I think we both thought they'd still be pretty good. Right now, 30th in the league against two average offenses, I think is fair to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, offense, we expect to be very good. You know, I, I think I called them a top five, top seven unit. Uh, 24th right now yeah. against, again, two yeah. not great defenses. It's not like they've gone against Seattle twice in the first couple weeks. Two teams that are combined 0-2 when not playing the Lions, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so... Um, you know, I, I think you hang your head on the fact that the Lions have eight home games left. They're seven and one. Ford Field has been very good to them mm-hmm. in recent years. Um, the the home slate is not easy. It starts off with two very difficult games in, in Denver in primetime next week, and then Arizona, which I, I think is a um, as I highlighted before the season underrated yeah. uh, Super Bowl contender. Um, but if you can run the table at home. I mean, that's that sets it up as anything's possible. Yeah. Then you need just two out of six wins on the road. I think that Kansas City game in London's tough, but not yeah. being an arrowhead makes it makes it a little easier. Um, New Orleans is no longer looking very good. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's opportunities yeah, there. There's I, opportunities. You know, the Cardinals will be tough. Um, I mean, they, they just ran the Bears out of Chicago. Um, that, that's a tough game. But, you know, Denver maybe looks a little more winnable than I thought entering the season as well. But Peyton hasn't been that great. He hasn't been in vintage form. And with the Lions starting 0-2, I know that's discouraging, but the NFL, it's a bounce-back league, and sometimes a team with its back against the wall plays its best. That's been the case with the Lions, too. That You know, I, I wouldn't put it past the Lions to win this game, even if they do start off 1-3 and or 1-4 and because of the road game to Seattle because of how good the Cardinals are in Week 4. Yeah, there's an emotional lift of playing at home in that first game. It's prime time. Yeah. I mean, the team is going to yeah. be absolutely jazz. The, the Peyton Manning thing, you know, his arm strength, I understand everybody's talking about it. Outside the numbers, yeah, he's not as good. Well, Lions aren't having problems outside the numbers. They're having problems inside the numbers. Uh, they're getting beat physically at the line of scrimmage, and the middle of the field, the coverage has yeah. just been soft. Manning will pick them apart with crossing routes if they're going to make mistakes. So, uh, yeah. I, I thought they'd win this game. I've been saying all along since the beginning of the season, I thought this was a game that no matter who came in here on that opening game, I thought they'd win. I, I just can't say that anymore. I, I think the yeah. odds of them beating Denver are pretty low right now. I picked the Lions to lose this game, but I, 
I don't know. It's an interesting game, and I haven't. I could still change my mind. I haven't felt out the week yet, but it's too late. Uh, <laughs> but in terms of the playoffs, I think it's possible because of the middle of the schedule. I think it's unlikely at this point. Percentage? Uh, I'll say twenty five percent. Whoa, I'm I'm at more like seven point two. Oh no 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 no, dude! They, it's still a. I know that they've looked bad, but no DeAndre Levy, and you have the cushiest part of your schedule still upcoming. It's it's. You know, the Chargers could be a good, uh, are a decent team. The Vikings, they were bad in week one, sure, but they're a team we thought was on the rise coming into the year. I'm just trying to take some long-term perspective on this team. I, I just don't – they're not as – they're not – they have not played well. Yeah. And the way they've lost these games has been an, almost insulting, like, to, to the Lions. But um, I still think it's possible they have the easiest part of the schedule coming up. They have players coming back. It's not over yet. Uh, unless one of those players coming back is a good right tackle – and uh, the rest of the offensive line gels very quickly. I, I just don't see it. I'll, I, have to, I'll have to check to see if Levy's played any right tackle in yeah. his career. For Justin Rogers, I'm Kyle Monkey. We're Ally. Keep it right here.